Here is your latest church apostasy news from trancatnight.blogspot.com. Ladies and gentlemen, be sure to bookmark Trancat Night and check in on a daily basis. 15 plus articles slash blogs coming out to you, giving you the highlights of the day as it relates to the church, as it relates to apostasy in the church, as it relates to Francis, as it relates to these end times. A lot of information going out to you. And for this particular segment, it's something that I've been harping upon for quite some time. I warned of this language coming from the Vatican even before it started happening this past year. And this is in relation to the New Age Socialist program in which they would use the verbiage, quote unquote, sharing. Now we have an article coming from cathnews.com. I apologize in advance. This report may go a few minutes because I want to get to what Maitreya is saying on his end. As I've warned you, this language would come come about because I needed a bridge, uh, an agent, if you will, to continue to promote their ideology. And certainly, Francis is that character. According to the New Age, they even say he's one of theirs, a puppet. Now, this article is entitled, Francis to Billionaires Help Others Realize Their Potential. Again, so we have the New World app. Order capitalizing not only on poverty, the poor, environmentalism obviously is an aspect of it. We have homelessness coming into the equation. The world has to have a lot of problems in order for it to be looking for a new Messiah to arrive onto the scene. As everyone see how this works. Now in a meeting on Saturday, Francis said the global economic system needs a fundamental renewal that does not have to simply, uh, that does not have to do simply with market economics figures to be balanced the development of raw materials and the improvements made to infrastructure what we are speaking about is the common good of all humanity of the right of each person to share in the resources of this world and to have the same opportunities to realize his or her potential a potential that is ultimately based on the dignity of the children of God created in his image and likeness, he told CEOs and other leaders taking part uh, in this Fortune Time Global Forum. Business leaders, including Virgins Richard Branson, LRN's Dov Seedman, Siemens Joe Kaiser, IBM's Ginny Romati, met in Rome for two days to respond to what they described as the Pope's passionate pleas for broader prosperity and lasting ways to lift the poor and of course we know that the socialists and marxists love to capitalize on this particular aspect and distort the real gospel of christ not that giving to the poor is in and of itself bad but we know their nefarious ends they also spoke with concern of a growing popular discontent for the way big business and governments operate populism and protectionism are rearing their heads around the world and trust in business as well as other institutions has plummeted The leaders said in their report to Francis, our great challenge, Francis told them, is to respond to global levels of injustice. Right? And we've had Francis come out over the past two years and saying that the root of all evil is social inequality. Again, this is socialism. This is Marxism. Uh, He goes on to say, our greatest, our great challenge is to respond to global levels of injustice by promoting a local and even personal sense of responsibility that so so no one is excluding from participating in society the centrality of this of course get ready for it because pope saint pius x warned of this drum roll please the centrality and dignity of the human person and this is what the new religion is based upon the impotent humanitarianism the new tower of babel the new city of god or excuse me, the new city of man, however you want to spin it. Now he goes on to say this, uh, the centrality and dignity of the human person, especially the poor and refugees, must be a key factor in strategizing sustainable development. There it is, Agenda 21, folks, right in your face. This is not Catholicism, my good friends. He goes on to say, when we ignore the cries of so many of our brothers and sisters throughout the world, we not only deny them their God-given rights and worth, but we also reject their wisdom and prevent them from offering their talents, traditions, and cultures of the world. Again, the new Tower of Babel. Now, it's interesting to note, we have right from a page, which I'll provide for you in the link below this talk in the description box. It's called Sharing. 
And this is by New Age Antichrist Maitreya again. He'll be arri arriving on the world scene. He needs his agents and his puppets out there to start promoting uh, these particular concepts and principles. Question. Since the power in the world remains with the rich and the powerful, is it up to the rest of us to wait until they change their mind? Answer. No, we will wait for uh no we will wait forever for that to happen few rich and powerful people will give up their power or riches unless they have to the mechanics of the change is a world stock market crash do you hear that folks what have i been telling you what will happen before matreya's arrival the stock market crash here in the west which ultimately will lead to a global collapse so again here we have the new age plan to promulgate uh this change if you will their Robin Hood economics, stealing from the rich, and giving to the poor, that is what they have in mind. Maitreya has predicted many, many things which have come true already. He has also predicted a world stock market crash, which he said would begin in Japan. He made that prediction in 88, etc., etc. Another question, is Maitreya going to inspire us to action, such as with sharing, based on experience, he will give us of our oneness together otherwise will humanity be motivated to share answer the answer to that is yes and no matre is not going to force anyone to share but he's going to talk about the necessity of sharing as the only way to produce a rational economic system which will create justice so what is the vatican uh, to social justice program teaching the same thing as matreya it is ending because the age which brought it uh, into being has ended it's a de decaying a corrupt crystallized form which does good to few and relaying back to the article we just talked about that is essentially what they were saying that we need a renewal in the economic system this is exactly what they're talking about here of course it also does harm to the few to whom it seems to be doing good it is poisoning dividing and threatening the world god forbid there should be division especially over theology of course our lord willed us to be one to be of one body one heart and one mind and that's why we have to return to the true traditional catholic faith that is where ultimately we're going to find unity in the future it's where our unity truly is now and there are very few people holding the true faith left in the world but this is what we're up against all this will be spelled out by matreya they say it does not if that does not inspire us with the idea of sharing nothing will matreya will also release his energy called the Christ Principle in tremendous potencies. As Maitreya has said himself, it will be as if I will embrace the world. People will even feel it physically, and this will happen on the day of declaration, by the way, called the second Pentecost, if you will, the planetary Pentecost. If that energy is flowing through us, plus the words of Maitreya analyzing the economic uh, situation and the harm which it is doing to the planetary life does not motivate us to share, then nothing else will. If it does not motivate humanity... Then we will not learn to share. We will destroy the world. How? Question. How will sharing work in practice? Answer. The UN will become the major debating chamber of the world. All world's problems will be debated there and resolutions passed which will implement the new system. An entirely new UN agency will be set up specifically to oversee the process of sharing the world's resources. But I must emphasize that we have free will. Nothing will be forced on humanity when humanity of its own free will accepts the principle of sharing and asked Maitre and his group of ascended masters how do we do this how do we go about sharing then we will find the plan that is already there there's a group of high initiates who have worked out there with the masters over many years uh, through a whole series of interrelated plans which will solve the redistribution problems which today are at the heart of economic problems it is a reality, a problem of redistribution of resources. This is exactly what you've been hearing from Benedict XVI, from Francis. It's a legitimate redistribution of wealth. We're being set up, folks. When will you wake up? When will you realize that you are being led into a formalized one world religion? Now, another question goes on to this. In the new civilization, hmm, Catholic. Scratch your head. Where have I heard that before? The new civilization of love, John Paul II, right? Doesn't have anything to do with Catholicism. has everything to do with the new religion. Yes, John Paul II, the quote-unquote great, who in my opinion was one of the worst popes we've ever had, and will be anathematized at a future council for his partaking in destruction of the church. 
This question goes on to ask, in the new civilization, are we talking about the third world uh, coming up, Western European and North American standards of living, or are we talking about the planet generally having a simpler, more sustainable lifestyle? What we will have to aim at is a simpler and sustainable economy based upon the need today. The economies are based on the pressures of commercialization or market forces. Of market forces, excuse me. All the developed countries are producing and overproducing goods that they cannot sell because each has and creates the same things. Uh, now, eventually, when the masters co come onto the scene, they will show that a satisfying creative life can be lived, which will be full and rich, but on a simpler life using the resources of the world in a sustainable way. Again, folks, can't tell you enough. The new age needs new problems in order for you to go running to them thinking that they have the answers or the right answers if you will and that's not the answer the answer is not to evolve and to cross over into the new age you're being duped the answer is a return to the catholic faith it is a counter revolution to this ongoing revolution which has been going on in the world for quite some time through the sect of freemasonry through these certain uh nefarious elements working in conjunction uh, with the snake's head, if you will, the hydra. And this is what we are up against. There's two choices truly in the world. We can take no more a middle ground. Now, w once again, make sure you're subscribed right here to Trad Cat Night as I'm keeping you up to date on all of the latest church apostasy, apostasy news, providing you analysis. I'm carrying all the latest news, videos, information, and special guest radio shows coming to you Monday through Friday. Again, bookmark trancatnight.blogspot.com, the most comprehensive and followed traditional Catholic website out there. Top 25,000, actually on the brink of top 20,000 now in the world. Along the right-hand side of the website, there's a plethora of information, resources, and links. Make sure you get your head into the Twitter news feed section. Lots of other stories coming out on top of what I'm already presenting in the main area where you'll get 15 to 20 blogs on a daily basis. New poll question is up. Please participate up there at the top as it relates to World War III. There's a blog archive about one-third of the way down the page. Make sure you get your head in that. For those who would like to advertise on Tradcat Night, I offer very, very lucrative rates uh, on a monthly basis. And again, we've got a lot of traffic moving through uh, the website. So if you'd like to take advantage of that, if you have a business, uh, an event, a website you'd like to promote, I, of course, have to sign off on it. But if you think it's a good fit, uh, it's in a pretty good locale on the page, about one-third of the way down. So you can participate in that by sending me an email at apostleofmary at hotmail.com. Again, continue to keep me in prayer. Still need ongoing donations, folks. Again, always good to see new names popping up. I've seen uh, a decent amount over the past few days. So uh, I encourage you all to keep uh, doing that. If you don't want to go the PayPal route, which is the easiest route, uh, you can do cash, check, or money order uh, contributions. Those inquiries can be sent to Apostle of Mary at Hotmail.com, and I will get you the mailing address. Continue to keep spreading word of Tradcat Night uh, to your friends, family, church members. Continue to share the videos. Again, if you're website owners, get our blogs up onto your page. Start backlinking us. Get the radio shows up. A lot of Alternative uh, news outlets are doing that, including Veterans Today, a monster website, picking up uh, our radio shows and articles, and it's going very smoothly over there the last few weeks. Our sister site is orderoftheeagle.wordpress.com. If you have news tips, articles, videos, uh, blogs of your own, let me see what you're seeing. I get through all uh, of my emails on a daily basis. Can't use them all, can't respond to them all, but I may retweet some of your information. I may put it up as a main article. Just have to see based upon the information you're presenting. But nevertheless, you can send that information to Apostle of Mary at hotmail.com. And lastly, my good friends, let us be reminded to keep our wings spread in faith and hope. Keep our eyes wide in charity. And until next time, stay safe and God bless.